We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Game two of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Minnesota Twins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny. An important ball game coming up here in game two. Well, in a seven-game series, winning game one on the road is great, but it doesn't mean all that much if you can't back it up and win game two. A win here really puts them in a commanding position, but if they split these first two games, it basically becomes a best of a five-game series starting all over again from scratch. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Jose Barrios is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, thanks coming on Jose Barrios. And this guy has all the tools to be a great one. Great velocity with life. 94 to 97 miles an hour. Power slider, and it's a big sweeper. His changeup is getting better. If this guy brings all three pitches one of these days, he has the potential to throw a no-hitter. Now the 2-1. And right into the shift scooped up and there's one away here's Corey Seager lifetime against Jose Barrios he's one for three now the two one pitch Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. But well, we might be ice skating before we're through tonight. 39 degrees at first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And there's out number two. That is four. The first baseman, Matt Humphrey. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. Now the 2 1 pitch. That's a ball. Now, time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder, and everything went with it. Reined in, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. The Twins coming up. No score. Julio Arias will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Standing in, Jorge Polanco. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Peterson. Around first, digging for two. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. The third baseman. Stepping up to the plate, Josh Donaldson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Polanco leads off second with nobody out. 
Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Ooh, that was ugly. Audi, if you're waving at me. Right side, fair ball down the line. The throw to the plate, but not in time as he's across with the run. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d or Get that base hit and give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2. He pops it up. Seeger into shallow center. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting fourth. Noah Hewitt. Eddie. Rosario. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eddie Rosario. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. So 1 1. Ball back there. Second. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw to third. And he is in there. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, d -roll. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choking poke right there. He flipped a bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. Into the box, Eire Adrianza. Nope. Two and one. Urias isn't considered by many to be a, a power pitcher. He doesn't strike out a ton of guys, but he's usually very effective as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that uses his defense and makes the opponent put the ball in play. Matty V, not all pitchers are going to be swinging this guy. Even though this guy is a power pitcher, he pitches primarily down in the zone, and he looks behind him and he sees eight fielders with the glove. He needs some help. He's not going to strike a lot of guys out, but he needs some help from his defense. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Wow, he's looking awfully shaky to start this game, guys. That's three hits and a walk, and there's no doubt that he's fighting himself right now. See if he can get this train back on the rails here. Standing in, Miguel Sano. And now the Twins look to plate more in the opening frame. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. And the 
this is on the ground is short. Could be two to second for one. Throw to Muncy to finish the double play. That retires the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. One inning in the books here. It's the Twins one and the Dodgers nothing. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. Now the 2 1 pitch. It is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Nobody out, runner on first. Outside, two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Now the two one is a ball down and away. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. A runner at first with no outs here. And boy, that misses as well. It's back-to-back -back walks to start out the inning. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Taken strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. The 3-2 pitch. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had 3-1 homer written all over it. But it bounces off the wall, so only one run scores. And now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. And now Justin Turner. He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. Kepler's on the move. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. The relay to third now, but he's safe as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. So striding forward now, Will Smith. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Here's a high pop-up. Donaldson over to his right. Two down. Batting up. The second baseman. Number nine. 
Digging in. Gavin Lux. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Men on third with two down. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Dodgers two and the Twins one. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's out number one. Batting it. The white field. Matt. Kessler. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. The 1-1. One -one. Is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Now the two one. Mitch Garver waits on deck. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Stepping in, Mitch Garver, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Runner at first here, one man out. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And the pitch on two and one. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Standing in now, Jorge Polanco. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. A runner on first with two away. Now a throw over, and the runner back. The 2-2. Two -two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peterson has a read on it. And that's the third out. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Game two coverage rolls on after this. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting, shortstop, Corey Hugo. 
also striding in Corey Seager. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A 2 to 1 score here as we play inning number 3. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Back up the middle, right to him. And there are two away now. Now batting the first baseman, Matt. Muncy. Ready for another chance. Max Muncy. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Polanco is there, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. They still lead it 2 to 1. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Swing and a chopper down the first baseline. Here's the one and two delivery. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Peterson has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Now that the designated hitter. Yes, Here's Nelson Cruz now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. One out, nobody on. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Solo home run from Nelson Cruz. His second home run of the series as the Twins have rallied to tie it at two. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. to the plate now Eddie Rosario and a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch At the plate, Aire Adrianza. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. Skied into very shallow right. And Mookie will make the play, and that retired the side. But the Twins do come back to level things out thanks to this solo home run. We played three full, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. All set for the start of the fourth, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. The pitch. 
That's trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. A.J. Pollard waits on deck. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. So now to the plate, A.J. Pollock. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. A ball that's carrying on the warning track, he makes the catch. The left field, number 31, Josh Peterson. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. The 1-1 home. Hit hard down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two and he fouls this one off the one two fouled away fouled off The one two. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied 2-2. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. The cover fielder, point Now with the plate, Byron Buxton. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next 3-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. Now and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. At the plate now, Max Kepler. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Two two doesn't get the zone count full now having a hard time putting this hitter away here and when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start this is what I saw a lot of he's not closing the door on guys and and when that's the case they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with and it's fouled away. A payoff pitch one more time. 
And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. One left for Minnesota. We'll head to the fifth, tied at two. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said that collectively as a group, their timing appears to be way off. As a result, they're often getting blown away at the plate or simply fighting pitches off. In the dugout, they're talking about getting things started a little bit earlier and simplifying their swings to give themselves a little bit more time to get the bat through the zone. We'll see if they're able to make those adjustments, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Rosario. He's there and records the first down. Now back. Pepper will miss. Digging in for his second at bat, Will Smith. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two runs on just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The next one, two pitch. And he fouls this one off. The one, two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Kepler's going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batter, number nine. Coming to the plate now, Gavin Lux hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next day, big. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. The one-two. It's a fastball that misses. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Halfway home, tied to a piece. to the top of the lineup stepping in Jorge Polanco one for two including a double back in the first a ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop line drive to center field Bellinger is there and he has it for the first out Into the box now, Josh Donaldson. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 2 1 is looked at for ball three. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck.
Here comes the 3 1 pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peterson has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The battle, the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. Next will be the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. He went deep last time up. Two out, nobody on. Popped up. Muncie will put this one away, and the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order through five, all even at 2-2. Two, two. Here's Mookie Betts, 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. One and two. Skied into straightaway right. Kepler's on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now that is for you. Here's Corey Seager. Bases are empty, one man in. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Into the box, Max Muncy. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hey. Two and two. It's swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. This thing he stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. Into the box now, Cody Bellinger. A ball and two strikes now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The set and the one-two. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Sharp ground ball to third. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more postseason baseball in game two after this. Alex Wood enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 57, Alex Wood. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Rosario, a hit in two tries so far. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Man, when the game is tied, the now last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff anyway. hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat.
good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time, and he makes it a full count. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Count still full, three and two. hard on the ground to first the second for one return throw gets him at first it's a three six one double play made him throw a lot of pitches in that at that but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure stepping in Miguel Sano Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Low and inside with a breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Fastball well outside. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Twins retired in short order. Six innings complete, all square at two and two. Seventh inning ready to roll. And digging in is the veteran DH, A.J. Pollock. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Payoff pitch one more time. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer here in the series, and it's given the Dodgers a 3-2 lead. This is going to be one of those moments we look back on in a couple years when we relive this World Series. That swing at a bat late in the game to take the lead, huge blow. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Tyler Clipper comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Tyler Clipper. To the plate now, Jock Peterson. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Tried to stay back on the changeup there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Up next to the 
Now to the plate, Justin Turner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hard ground ball to third. Donaldson's up with it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now back. Catcher. Will. Smith. Now at the plate, Will Smith. He flew out in his last at bat. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. You like the modern style of baseball. Here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, d -Row, there's a case of the outfield defense playing so deep that now, that, that ball looked like it was count. extra bases all the way, but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times, I would agree. I, I, I'd love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan, could keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, boy, I was wrong. That worked. A one-two pitch. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Hot shot on the ground is short. Fielded cleanly. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One for the Dodgers on the solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch, and Los Angeles has taken a 3-2 lead. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. The 2-1. And it's fouled away. Weakly to the left. Turner's got to get rid of it. And there's one down now. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Pulled toward right center field. Bellinger's under it. And that's the second out of the inning. At the plate, Mitch Garver. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Wood into the windup. Here's the one, two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Twins are set down one, two, three. They're down three to two. Number 72 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 72. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts.
And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. And he pops up the bun attempt. There's one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Love the aggressiveness from the catcher right there. He was looking at making the throw to second all the way, and he did a great job with his footwork to get to the ball and then make a strong throw for the out. Good stuff. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitter, Max Muncy. Hits are now even at four apiece. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And gone right down the line the other way. Wow. So a two-run homer down the line and left. His first homer so far in the series. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for air, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. Stepping in now, Cody Bellinger. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good oh, indication to me that he is not letting it get him. He went right yeah. after him for the strikeout. Oh. At the plate, A.J. Powell swing and a high chopper. Balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. But the Dodgers do strike for two coming on this two run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's now 5 2 LA. Blake Trinan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 49, Blake Trinan. Jorge Polanco will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Five. Counts even two and two for Polanco. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Set. Here's the 2-2. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The, the bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. In now, Josh Donaldson. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box, Nelson Cruz. Outside, two and one.
He's fallen behind now, three and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eddie Rosario. One for two on his line so far in the game. The 1-1 one, one home. Line drive base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Now at the plate, Aure Adrianza. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring in time this game become a lot greater. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Twin strand a pair. They trail 5-2. Tyler Duffy enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Again, he sends it out of play. has to give here's the payoff pitch swung on and this ball is hammered forget about it and that's a home run into the top tank a solo home run there for Jock Peterson his first homer here in the series as they open it up to six to two now Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Yeah, Matty B. You don't see this very often, d -Row, when it's cold and chilly like this, wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. The next 3-2. Heading out towards shallow right. Kepler is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Up next to the Dodgers, the catcher, Will Smith. Digging in and looking for more, Will Smith. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. A 1 1 home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for route number two. Now batting. Number nine. Digging in. Gavin Lux. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point.
Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Buxton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Twins. It's the Dodgers six and the Twins two. Pedro Baez is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. For Los Angeles, number 52, Pedro Baez. Here's Miguel Sano. He's the one to start off the ninth inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Here's the 1 1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Baez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here, three and one. Well, ball three, and the Twins would love to get this inning started any way they could to get that leadoff guy on. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. So now to the plate, Byron Buxton up in the zone for him, and he takes a cold strike, too. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. The one-two. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. One out, nobody on. Hard hit ball to second. Go on to first, he'll get him, and the Twins are now down to their final out. Riding in once again, Max Kepler. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Final strike for the Twins. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. A hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's laid on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Looked like the fastball got away from him there it's ball two. Swing and a miss he struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win.
Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he really made it happen with the bat in this one. You see here, two hits, and one was a long ball, so he has to feel pretty good about what he did here. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 finish. The Dodgers get the win to jump out to a two-games-to-nothing series lead. Alex Wood gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Six runs, six hits, no errors. They left three men on base.